Good day guys, come here, welcome back to Angry The 6.0 So on this part 1 of the video, we're going to the demo play and going through of enchantment etc for the newly SP character, SP Runford So um, as you guys have seen some of more detailed stuff that I've um, shared and showcased on the last part of the video featuring the talent, skills, and um, pros and cons about this character. So I'm gonna try to make it a little bit quicker in this part. So are you guys ready? Here we go. So straight up, we'll be going through on seeing his um, quick stats, his skills. So as we run for, so as you can see, I'm only have rank three minus the rank three. Uh, Rumford. So this is his talent at rank 3. It's kind of low but overall um, the great stuff about him is to boost up his um, innate, uh, ignore costing and boost up his damage dealing and stats boosting for teammates. Three buffs around him if you have his um, casting and also his exclusive items. We will be going through Later on, then these are all the skill sets he will be having from old to new. So this is defensive and if make makes a decisions exclusive skill too. So some quick go through about how he can work in an actual video. So later on we'll be coming back to talk about his um, the current meta skills to bring in PvP and maybe also PvE so the time brief that I'll be choosing will be ta -da! okay Langreaser 2 on this map because there is apparently there is sky so we'll be trying out the sky map In this case, um, I'll, I'll be trying out the new skills instead. So later on, we'll be switching around to show you um, the pros and cons, the good stuff and not so good stuff about SP Run Fort. Okay, I'm gonna make a change and use Liana. Oh gosh, apologies. I, I forgot to bring um a sky unit for him. This is a this is a bad show start off. Apologize. <laughs> and okay to showcase to you guys the new and old unit that we'll be having so this is definitely the new uh, rainbow neon pegasus then you also get to enjoy yep the fang warriors the fang warriors got the movement speed of five movement speed infantry the first one so this is pretty cool you can use for tank or if you want to be more versatile we'll be choosing uh, neon pegasus it's okay um a quick go through again with his two exclusive skills so the guard skill have both passive and active effect. The passive being you'll be able to block allies one block around you, immune to position shifting and immune to not able to uh, use active skills effect. Then for active skills, your guard range 
will be increased to your talent range effect or your talent effect range and the damage you take will reduce by 20% then you add 15% of your attack to defense and magical defense and this whole effect lasts for 4 turns so this means that um, this skill can actually go through a loop as um, the CD is always less than the gut turn so that's pretty cool unless you keep um, act again and even if you act again um, the, the turn still counts so yeah you will never caught up so that's pretty good then for the make a deletions or decisive move um, the pen passive Increase your crit rate and crit damage by 20%. If you initiate attack and three blocks around you uh, has a mixed unit friendly ally, this attack will ignore gut. And after you initiate attack and a crit happen, a critical happen, you will obtain one turn buff damage reduction reduced by 30% and note that he has two effects that will have 20% damage reduction this two same amount do not stack however uh, this passive skills give a higher stats of 30% reduction of 30% so uh, you can have a stack of 30 plus 20% which combines up to 50% other than that um, any same value amount do not stack so you can i'm gonna let you guys see the good the the good and bad things about uh his effect here so okay i'm kind of coming to sky right now i'm gonna cast his gut skill first <laughs> Okay, because um, of course um, having this um, ignore position shifting ability, as you can see from the skill due to the passive, uh, immune position shifting and unable to use active skills uh, may not be a better choice in this current meta. Of course, it depends if in, let's say, for example, PvP or PvE, you do not have enough tankers or good tankers you will need to switch him to uh, his skill set to this defensive skills however do know that uh, because he's been immune to position shifting effect which is the first effect uh, i mean immune to unable to use active skills definitely a great stuff uh, that's like uh having a bracer the best stuff is that in the current meta there's a few hero like example Awakener and the Ice Abyss or Ice Imelda, both of their abilities um, make use of combo with swap, uh, position shifting or position swapping around with allies to initiate um, further combos or in some case certain combos but because of these abilities um, it might become a downside instead of a become a pro or in fact become a con than a pro so you can see i'm gonna cut this skills to try and pull him, pull him over so he's immune to these skills and if i'm trying to um do some combo it may not be done easily Okay, let's see if I can teleport over, um, over or is this still a position shifting? So in this case, you can, can check out. Wow, okay, this is cool. So in this case, um, uh, the, initia the initial initiation for the extreme ice change, um, extreme ice chain, uh, you cannot pull him because it will not work the only way is just to bring up some of his stats but um it will be great if you can pull him together the only great stuff is because of a tree seed treated as teleportations so this is better.
無限の神。はい。無限の神と英語をつなぐ。The only one that can combo right now is with Ice and Milda. However,、um, you'll not be able to combo with Awakeners. As you can see, in the event, if let's say l a m f o r d is very or much nearer in this position, for example, maybe this position that is nearer the enemy, if、uh, Awakens can swap around with him, she can further command her attack or a o skills. That can lay out more、um, destructive combo effect against the enemy. However,、um, if you are immune to position shifting, she is kind of stuck、uh, around this two step and her range might not be able to hit the enemy. So you got to choose wisely when you want to bring these skills or not. So overall,、um, PvP players h a s more of them、uh, tend to use him towards as a Partial tank assassin or more of an assassin, a flyer, lancer assassin than a tanker, unless like、um, all the tanks have been absolutely banned. If not,、um, they will not use them as a tanker. And next, as you can see,、uh, apparently his defense and magic defense is kind of similar. And because I'm not bringing mix unit, but later on I will do a transformation and、uh, things will slightly change the stats increment. But、um, as you can see, his magic defense is also kind of higher, and that's why with items like Lush Ride or、uh, Demon Armor, he will be a much tankier hero against magic than compared to physical attack. So, okay, now、um, I forgot to do the change just now. So, right now I'm going to change. So, this will be the first ever. Oh. Okay, this is weird.、Um, oh, I guess they fixed the bug. Oh, there. Oh, my.、Um, previously, they, he can transform as a tank unit in the sky, but right now,、um, we do not get to enjoy this benefit. I mean, I mean let's, let's read through again in case you guys、uh, might think I, I've done something wrong. So, apparently, his talent says、um, ignores. Ignore cost, damage increased by 10%. Uh, increase allies to box around you, stats by 5% because of rank 3. Then additional 1% for mixed unit. When you end turn, you can turn your hero class type to Lancer class. So right now, I'm going to try this on land and see if it can work. Okay,、hey, uh, apparently they have fixed the patch、uh, on this last one, two week、uh, of the game because、um, I've personally tried out、uh, when it's being first released on the first week. Even if I'm teleported to, to air, I can still transform my class, but right now、um, they do not allow, allow me to, as you guys have seen from the beta version. So these are some of the changes, and、uh, apparently I'm shocked to see this. So, okay, set news. However,、um, as you can see, we are still not able to do this. Holy shit, shit. Okay, let's see if we can bring him to the skies. 
Okay, did you guys notice? Um, yeah, Zilong definitely done some patches on it. So, General Longford is standing on this side. So, if I'm gonna cast an AoE and spam him, he's supposed to come to this direction. But um, instead, he comes to this side. Which is um, very weird. They did definitely did some patches, or if not, uh, there's something wrong with this map. Uh, but I'm gonna retry out the map to save your time, and uh, we're gonna rechange his class again. This time I'm not going to change his class. I'm just gonna stick with his. So here we go. Yep, um okay this time around is very weird. Um it's no longer at this um Position. However, uh, he is at least still in the sky, so instead of being on land terrain, so I definitely need to long did some fix on on him, and I guess there's nothing much else to test on on his exclusive skill aside from he's just being a tank and his passive because um it's not a very special stuff. It's just being tank. I think the only thing I want to let you guys see is uh, maybe if I bring mix unit this time around and then that's it. Okay, thank God. Okay, early on, um, after casting the gut skills, my defense and magic defense become 500 plus, uh, 520 plus. Low, let's see if this time around it will increase a bit. And I'm gonna shift my allies slowly towards me so we can see the change in their stats too. Okay, apparently it's, it's lower than the last match. Oh, because I, I didn't shift to uh, tanker. So, okay, this is a flyer. 516 defense and 504 magic defense. Uh, let's see if I become Lancer, if there is any changes. Okay, this means my allies got to be near me, I guess. Okay, we're gonna try so when no one near him, so this is our original stats. You can see it's one two seven five for the offensive. So now I'm gonna come near him. Okay, I'm just gonna pull, pull a few of them together. That's how we can just see. So 1088. 1 tree. So 1003. 700. So it's 1 2. 1. And 1 tree. Okay, So as you can see, it's one three four zero oh, currently. I managed to enjoy the stats up benefit. 
愛せんよおお、because I can't shift very early on, so okay. Um, I see you. And now I'm gonna shift slightly even nearer to the side. She was just trying to unkey you. Mugen no kami to H o tsunag. Okay, apparently we already had um, five plus one, so plus six percent for the. Mixed unit. Hey. So as you can see, Liana has enjoyed another six percent to its return here, and of course, plus another additional ten percent, a total of sixteen percent. So from seven hundred, uh, no more than seven hundred and fifty, it become eight six eight, and one five five six. And from one zero eight eight to one two three three. And this is definitely the most significant, as you can see, it's 1458. So, okay, that's it. I guess nothing much to go through because um, his, his exclusive skill is more of a passive and tanking skill. The assassination why is um, if you have an ally, so I, I'm not able to do too much testing about this part. Sorry about it. Okay, last but not least. Uh, Things you guys might be more interested. Um, definitely his build, but not mine. Um, I just got him. So for um, he has been released for almost one month. So and after this new updated patch, let's see what other players has decided to go with the build and enchantment for him. Okay, this is uh, definitely more protective build. Um, this looks more of a protective build because I'm um, having this the Seal Guardian, 10% attack and defense. They are not going for off offensive, but more for protective and immune to leg break. This, um, in my view, looks more of a PVE item. I mean, and also to bring faction buff to buff your allies. Uh, this is definitely, it can be both PvP and PvE, again, uh, to increase the survivability, Seal Guardian. Okay, um, not sorry, not Demon Armor, but um, Tiamat Blessing. So, if you have mixed unit, magic damage you will receive will be reduced by 20%. So, with this armor together with his talent and ability, he has a higher surviving rate from magic skills over physical. Uh, physical damage. However, um, definitely in future there will be an another type of armor that is similar to this effect, but definitely to tank against physical damage. And blood pack. This is definitely a uh, build to make him more of a tank hero than killing unit. Just my opinion. Uh, this is definitely more. PvP, however, um, that with the missing of last right, but without last right, um, this build gives him high HP and higher defense and lower HP, higher magic defense. Um, Bracer wise, if you're not bring the new tank ability, the tank skills to immune position shifting and silent, um, Bracer may not be a bad idea so if you're bringing ba bracer my catch will be my suggestion would be why not um, equip yourself with last right it's not higher to break through your your full hp unless enemies bring twilight but um twilight has lesser players have been bring twilight nowadays um the only one will be ragnarok so yeah okay again there's um PvP wise, this is for PvP, higher survivability, and not to mention uh, Dragon Slayers or uh, uh, Dragon Slaying Grum. Uh, this item is a good item again, SP Bernhard and Isodad, the current uh, Meta Dragon class heroes. Okay, now we're talking. So, this is a much more common, commonly seen 
PVP build-up for the past one month. But for enchantment-wise, I guess more players, the more pro players would either go for both Full Moon or Breeze. Definitely Breeze for more oppression. But Full Moon, once you got to leave, um, make sure you stay at 80% and above. But my suggestion is that um, he only have one skill that provide healing ability. So there's um, Shivery and Shivery has a longer CD and I'm not sure if you will be able to recover back to regen yourself back to full health with this um, build up. Okay, uh, okay. this is uh, what I have more commonly seen in the pro scene, standard um, Breeze Enchantment. Of course, I'm not saying that Full Moon is bad, but if Breeze proc, um, you have a more uh, movement advantage and oppression advantage over your enemy. Okay, it's kind of common to see. Oh, okay, this is definitely one of the top top apex player the top um, 8 or 16 player so we will be checking out okay so this is a great suggestion for you guys if you want to play him as a more defensive unit or play him as tank uh, this is a definitely great item okay these um, Lightning stick. Uh, I'm not sure what what is being called in the English version. However, um, when you go into close combat, whether you attack enemy or when enemy attack you, as long as it's close combat, you will be dealing a fixed damage to them based on one time your defense. This is quite similar to Ragnarok, but um, it can go both ways. The only downside is that um, having this item reduce your normal attack, but in return it gives you a higher tanking ability towards um, physical attacks okay so take note um, this is one of our pro players so uh, you can we, we might at least as a top 16 players we can learn from his building okay this is another interesting build so again um to fight against enemies like SP Burnhardt or Isodad, then survivability against spellcaster. So you, if you intend to pick Rumford and you wear this build, you will purposely be allowing enemies to use Mage unit instead. So uh, you can use him to help either tank or just go for the attack to try to go for the kill while ensuring you survive. And standard his exclusive item to increase his talent spam range. Then also this um, dust storm, uh, dust storm bond. Okay, this item will immune to stunt and losing of passive skills. So in the current meta right now, with characters like Jace, Ashen, and also Ice Imelda. A lot of these characters are able to stun your hero or stop them from taking actions for one turn at least. So bringing a star, uh, dust storm accessory will be a better choice in this current meta. It's not that Bracer is a bad choice, but however, um, because of all the ongoing stuns, dust storm might be a better choice unless you're so lucky that um, in every match you will be able to Pick, on, pick out characters like Rose and Seals with a crystal protection to save you. Okay, I guess that's it. Then let's see. Um, oh, last but not least, and also his casting, casting ability. So his casting ability give allies within his talent range additional crit damage plus 10% oh and if you initiate attack and go into battle and if a crit rate happens you will recover HP based on 20% of your damage so overall okay he has a means of recovering HP however he do 
have to initiate so first of all he have to initiate battle and not to mention that that battle have to crit crit has to happen so if crit does not happen nor if you initiate attack you will not have any chance of recovering um, your HP then I guess that's why not every player decide to go with last right so okay we have come to the end so this is for SP round 4 overall I gotta say um, I am very disappointed in this design I thought this Langriza 5 martial um, armor daunting design should at least be like a echo of light or one of his um, Aniki skin so don't get me wrong I'm not saying this is ugly but this is very nice but um, I'm expecting something more out of a norm than just um, reusing an old design version and take it as as his SP form so but what did you guys think leave it down in the comment sections below this is coming and on the next part of the video we'll be featuring a demo play of let's guess it on part two we'll be featuring emperor tyrant tail see you guys and goodbye and if you like it remember to like and subscribe